Good afternoon guys, this is P. Kilna from Kilna Market Store or Kilna Car Boot Sale. Or you could say Peter's Car Boot Sale or Peter's Market Store. Now normally uh, I would be talking about the business but as we all know there's uh, there's a lot of um, things we can't do at the moment and I'm still progress in, in um, thinking of videos for the new um, parts of my business um, but uh, in the middle of all this um, I will be moving so I haven't been doing um, many videos for a while I've had a lot to do but I thought it was about time we started to seriously do some other videos, especially now that COVID-19 is still here and we are other than T3 or T4 and we still can't mix with other people. I just also like to say a happy new year to you all and hope you've all had a good Christmas so far. Well there's only sort of today and tomorrow left of December 2020. So I know we're all hoping that the year 2021 it is going to be a better year for all of us. On that note I think it's time that there needs a long investigation against DWP. Yet again, they've been swiddling people out of benefits. They give it to you in one hand and take it off another hand, don't they? Well, my main concern is for us people who can't work and have disappear abilities which people can't see are being treated very badly. Now there's been a lot of talk on universal credit uh, that's uh, been affecting a lot of people when the long wait with that and how many people have had to downsize their homes and move and um, some people haven't been able to pay for for new housing. Yet again DWP the assessments how many people are waiting for assessments or had assessments and then just found out that if they weren't getting the benefit and they should have got the benefit I've been told no you're not told to, to the benefit. There's others like me and who have had like um, disability or living allowance and they moved on to PIP but it seems it they say to you give them changes and if you don't you get into trouble so like a lot of us do if our mental health or learning difficulties a sight or what other disability we give them that new information and ask um, you know, should we be going up a bit? And then the next minute, you get a letter after what, eight weeks or so? In a brown envelope stating, sorry, we have stopped your benefit. You know, time you post 
the form and they give you a set date to post the form. The form gets there. Then you've got to wait eight weeks or so still to get an assessment or so. Then after the assessment, you've got another eight weeks. And for those who all had their disability money, then told, oh, you don't, you don't need it. What a joke. What a total joke. And you phone up. God, don't it take so long. Yesterday I was on the phone for at least a good hour waiting. What is this with DWP? And the government tells you to trust them? They're there for the people? Who is actually there for the people? Who are there for the little guys? Who's sticking up for the disability people? Because it seems to me it's either the disability people or the old people will get the end of the stick. It's time, folks, we came and say enough is enough. I mean, especially near, well, it's nearly half Christmas. How many people are still waiting for decisions from the DWP? You, you know, I've looked at, at certain things going way back with Universal Credit and PIP. And not just PIP. The um, the other one, ESA. I was dumped off SA, SEA onto job seekers, from job seekers onto um, Universal Credit. Yeah, these people, do they really know what what? people's needs are. No, they don't. They see you for about, what, half hour to an hour and they think they know you just... Or they phone you. Like everything's standing on the phone at the moment, isn't it? Because of the virus. So like they tell you, yeah, everything's great. Yeah, thank you for giving us all this details. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone you want to talk to? So I pass the phone to the wife. You know? And the lady's going, up, whatever she's saying to the wife, and then she says, oh, tell Peter, his pip's fine. <laughs> Liars. <laughs> so how many people this Christmas have had a brand name blow? from PIP, waiting after a long time, either got their PIP taken off them, or they said you're not qualified for it. Cool, what are you going to do in this country? Walk around with, oh, I don't know. This country is shambles, I'm afraid to say. Shambles. This is why I don't trust the arm of the flesh. Because they tell you one thing and do another thing. But we need, we need to stop the WP treating people with mental health disability and any other difficulties. So I would like some comments on this video, please. To tell me what you think. Tell me if you are one of these people who've had, had enough of DWP, either Universal Credit or PIP. 
And these assessments cool, they put a lot of strain on people. You know, it took me two years to prove to you know about the credit that I can't do normal office work or other work and I want to be self-employed. That's one thing I wanted, be self-employed. But you've got a disability or whatever, you ask for help, you don't get the help and then they take the money from you. It's ridiculous. When is there going to be people standing up for these people? I mean, people were depressed as it is. Some people have had mental breakdowns a long time before the virus and then to get a brand new envelope from the post and telling them their money stopped <laughs> it's a joke totally joke then you only get a month to to um, fight the appeal but yeah it takes eight or nine weeks to um, go in front of a panel. Sometimes it takes a year. It took me two years to fight universal credit. This point system is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. You can't judge someone in one day, I'm sorry to say that. Because they could be fine one day and not the next. Now I've never made a video like this before, so I don't know how these work. So I'm just testing it out to see how many people will actually watch this video and actually I will give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm not just putting it on Facebook this time I'm actually putting it on YouTube too and I'm going to be talking a lot of what I've learned about WP over the years So, what do you think? You know, there's certain weathers I can't go out in. Yeah, I told them. Did I get a point? No. Everything I discussed on the phone was not listened to. Yes, I can understand that there's a backlash because of the virus. But I think this people are using the virus a bit too much of getting important jobs done as well. We need to make a stand, guys. Total stand. It's one rule for one, one rule for another. I mean, look, look into my eyes. You see how my eyes are not perfect. Not perfect. They don't like brightness. 
Thầy cho nó loại fix fork Really really hard rain And I can't drive Ride a bike Anymore That's why I've got a scooter And I can't even ride that here Your son keeps messing with your charger I can't even sell here Which was making me happy And I've asked and asked for places for, for ideas where I can sell Where I can be protected from the sun That's what I mean You ask for help You don't get it You obey the rules When they say right If you've got any changes Let us know So you give them changes I'm not doing this just for me guys I am angry how disability people are being cheated and if people aren't going to stick up for them who have they got? We need as many newspapers or the Gazette other, paper, other papers to look into this pit business And actually, they are breaking the law because I read sometime last year that from a higher court that people with mental health does class of having PIP. And I will prove that to you. I will show you the, the information. There's other things I want to prove to you as well that I'm not lying that I was on PIP and that they've just taken me off PIP but I just wanted to get this video sort of like like out there because I don't see many people talking about this as they have done over the last two years and uh, it's time we we all yet again is say enough is enough you know I, I was bo I was born with my eye problem and I can't tell you what it is because I don't know but I'm lo I lose quite a bit of my field um, I've had learning difficulties and went to a special needs school and they know all that I got all my background you know and um, I've been suffering with mental health for a very long time now and oops sorry and hasn't mental health won it mental health week a couple of weeks ago I can't remember that in the people are saying that mental health is an illness and some people will have mental health for a long time because there's been too much damage depends on what they went through of course This is the time guys, time to talk out and if there's any newspapers or magazines, people from there, I'll give you permission to use this video because I want to stand for these people. because I've been a single parent I've been a single person I've been I've been through this system a long time so you know and I have seen how it's like they're laying 
la given labels to people. The rich, the middle, the poor disappear like to you. Please guys, don't just go past this video. Watch it. Subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on Facebook. Like the video. Share the video to as many people as possible. We need to stand together and show DWP that we're not taking it anymore. We will fight. We will stand strong. Because it's our right to. Well, I hope this video has been some help to you guys. And um, sorry if I sound a bit. But that's the other part of me what comes through when I'm stressed and angry because I am angry seeing people treated this way seeing people bullied because that's what people do in power they bully and they don't like it when you stand up to them So don't be scared to. Well, this is Pete Kilner signing out, wishing you guys yet again a happy 2021. I will see you in my next video.